I don't even know where to start with this level of stupidity. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And do you trust the mainstream media anymore? Do you believe in journalism? Well, I found it kind of inspiring to see an anchor from MSNBC, Katie Turr, actually wondering if she's doing more harm than good, admitting that people don't trust us. She's out there promoting a book, and I'm happy to promote her since she is spouting some truth here. Here she is pining on the uh, state of the mainstream media and journalism. There was just a Gallup poll out today that shows that the trust in, in media, newspapers and television is you know, hitting an all-time low. People don't trust us. They don't believe us. And it makes me wonder if this job, as I'm currently doing it, is effective uh, but if it's doing more harm than good, I don't have a good answer for that. Look, I applaud her for doing it. She's promoting a book. I'll happily let her plug it here too. Rough draft. But uh, I love how she said specifically this job that she's doing and the, and the way she's doing it, meaning on MSNBC, to me implying that, yeah, there's obviously different things. And if I were to go do it on my own with my own morals and ethics and you know, without somebody above me telling me what I have to report on. That's how I took this, and I applaud her for being honest. This is rare. Uh, even Fox News is getting in on this topic. The latest annual Gallup survey of trust in U.S. institutions reveals a Look credibility crisis in the media. <laughs> Only 16% of Americans say they have trust in newspapers, and a mere 11% have confidence in TV news. These are all-time lows. Now, look, the irony of her and Fox so News quick. trying to play like she's Miss Honesty is just uh, uh, very amusing to me. Because let's be clear, Fox, CNN, MSN, they're all out there pumping their own narratives. We've come to learn this. None of them are safe. But it is encouraging to see some of these you know, reporters that finally at least acknowledge it on the news talking about these all-time low Gallup ratings and so on. Uh, a Pew research uh, last week indicated that 55% of journalists surveyed uh, says that every side does not always deserve equal coverage in the news. 76% of Americans overall believe journalists should always strive to give all sides equal, but the journalists don't believe they need to have all sides covered, which is just shocking to me as this re as these reports come in. So again, it brings it all in before I get to this topic, because again, I don't... I, I, I don't know why I'm giving this woman more attention. That's clearly what she wants, and I'll prove that in a second. But it, it just comes out of why we don't do we believe the media? Why don't we believe the media? Well, it's because of culture reporters like this. I just I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. That now we're not just conspiracy theorists. We're now GamerGate. And honestly, I don't even believe she really even understands what Gamergate is. Uh, I mean, it's so many things that she's trying to lump in. Uh, the social media around Depp was for many a continuation of Gamergate. That's why it's important that we continue to explore what happened because it didn't end with a trial. Now, I, I don't want to get into the whole Zoe. I don't know why she's bringing Zoe Quinn and all this back up. Again, she's doing it for attention. Why drug all this up again? What on earth is this stretch to connect it to... to to Johnny Depp supporters, like my, what are you, what are you doing? What, but that be even beyond where I can't understand why she's trying to make this stretch of a comparison. Well, I can because she wants to start a culture war. This is a, the tech. Let's be clear who this person is. She is a tech and culture reporter. Her business of reporting culture only thrives when she can create more culture wars to react to. And so here she is. I would argue Deputy was even worse than Gamergate. Oh, my God. For those of you who don't know what Gamergate is, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Uh, this guy did actually a peer study re review that I, I would... It's an interesting way to look at it. Uh, and I loved his take. Uh, what I'm assignedly against is the systematic misinformation put forth by young tech culture writers. In order to stoke the fires of a culture war, these two online people live their lives in these tiny Twitter bubbles and somehow think their world applies to the world at large. These writers should use my Midwestern bar litmus test. Go into a bar in Midwestern town with a main street that looks like this and say this, then say out loud in this bar, the social media movement around Depp Heard was for me, for many, a continuation of Gamergate and see if people actually give a damn. And then if they do, go ahead and run it. But the reality is 
there's no way in hell anybody in this bar in the middle of America has any clue what she's talking about, let alone are they going to be upset about it. And uh, just uh, just to plug this guy, I'm going to try and get him on. I want to get some of his thoughts here. But he did. You can go look up Brad, Brad Glasgow. Uh, Brad, Brad, he, did a, he did a peer, uh, a peer-reviewed journal uh, about Gamergate. And uh, did a pretty good uh, study that I was reading down uh, and who actually was behind it. Because if you actually break it down, it's it's often used as sort of like the coverall for anybody who's misogynistic, uh, conservative, white man, blah, 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 evil enemy, yada, yada, yada. Um, as uh, did I did I save it here? Umbrella guy even. You're a monster because you listen and believed evidence presented by a man. How dare the woman survivors and liberals not believe the mainstream media? The world watched Johnny Depp versus Amber and saw for her for who she is. But hey, buzzwords, uh, good take on this tug. But here, uh, look, what? It's worse than game because the people who accepted the conspiracy at the heart of Depp's defense. Oh man, I might take umbrage with that. We accepted the conspiracy behind it. That's what. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. What were what trial were you watching? Oh, right. You clearly weren't watching the trial. Uh, defense were oftentimes a demographic that would have opposed Gamergate. It included a demographic of women, DV survivors, liberals. How could you guys? How could you? All of you actually unite. Oh, maybe because you watched the trial and you realized he was the victim and she wasn't, which Kat refuses to accept. Now, she's allowed to do whatever she wants. But as the NBC tech and culture reporter, this is her fanning a flame war. And she's getting, look at this, she's getting people to like it. Almost a thousand people are liking this. She's causing this to get uh, unrile us. And again, granted, a twi in Twitter bubbles, which is where she, you know, is employed. Uh, most people don't even know what Gamergate is outside online circles. D Duh, thanks for at least admitting it. But everyone knew about the trial uh, and saw, everyone saw the anti Amber propaganda. Huh? Uh, enlighten me, Cat. Please, let's do a thread on the anti-Amber propaganda. It also caused a huge population to lose faith in the mainstream media because they didn't understand why the mainstream me media questioned the conspiracy. <laughs> okay, you mean the, the, the anti-Amber propaganda? You mean like the audio tapes? Her admitting what she did? Her getting caught lying? Her uh, doing what she did in Australia? Which, by the way, stay tuned later today. We're going to have an exclusive uh, breaking down some information from a source that leaked us. New information about Australia, you're not going to want to miss that one, so stay tuned. Uh, uh, it, it's coming. It's a juicy one. Uh, but all this stuff she's ignoring, this is all the propaganda. This is the conspiracy that the mainstream media was questioning. Look at this narrative she's pouting. That NBC is questioning. They, She's basically admitting that her bosses, the mainstream media and NBC, they are were questioning the conspiracy. De Johnny Depp is creating a conspiracy theory. That's how he won this. This is why the pe this is was the people's cue. Oh my god. And it's still going just like Q. He kept going after Trump lost. Oh my god. Now we have an even bigger media hating conspiracy prime population. It's not going to end well. Yeah, because you're who's spouting the conspiracies here? I, you. <laughs> it's you. It's you, cat. Like what? I, I don't even want to show this online. Like the, these buzzwords and keys to start the culture to get. Let's why even bring, bringing Trump into this? Oh my God! It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I I, I can't even. And someone asked this person has it was a complete troll out there trying to dug up my past and be a complete a hole. How are we going to fix this? What do you think the solution should be? I wish I knew. The internet wasn't built for what it has become. I think we'll experience anti-social media and anti-internet pushes within our lifetime. Media literacy efforts would help, but we can't force people to be literate. Well, yeah, we can't force you to watch the trial either, can we, Kat? Now, what's so frustrating about this all is that it's so clear she's out here for attention. That's what she's doing this for. And yeah, you could argue I'm giving it to her and I shouldn't. Please leave her alone. I've said it every time. Anybody I'm reporting on, leave them alone. I'm here to report and react to things online and the culture, and that's what we do here. And uh, to call out the nonsense. And this is absolute nonsense. Now, why, how do I know she just wants attention? Because I dug a little deeper. Because I was like, what is, who is this woman? Why is she out there doing this? Well, here she is doing an AMA on Reddit. Ah, and to tell me she's not fanning the flames of culture wars and her history isn't, you know, 
rallying up attention to go against people. Uh, it was very interesting to see that, yeah, she's, listen to this, I gotta be careful on how this is, but she's the reporter for Insider who broke the R allegations against a member of YouTuber, David DeBrock's vlog, vlog squad. I cover the dark side of the $10 billion influencer industry. Ask me anything! Uh, my reporting of the R, R against Dave, uh, Durant Dom sparked massive fallout for David Dubrick's business empire. Why did she, she never even like really breaks the guy's name out. She just totally uses all the other YouTubers for clout, for attention, clicks, to get on AMAs, to build her clout, to build her thing. So someone even asked her this. Somebody even asked this, because why are you even doing an AMA? You're not famous. No one knows who you are. You're trying to make yourself famous by exposing YouTubers and then YouTubers' friends. Uh, and so here she is. Someone even asked, like, content creators are starting to hate on journalists like you more, more openly now. They say you guys only want clout and build your careers off of them. Do you think there's some validity to that? Do you think there's some journalists are going to transition to content creating in the future? Uh, Here's here's Kat's response. So in terms of how some content creators disparage journalists, saying we only want clout, that we build our careers off of them, they're viewing journalists like they view other influencers. To create clout to creators, please tell us. Please, I can't look forward to Kat telling me what what I what I want as a creator, what my clout is. Clout is the building block of success. It's attention that can be monetized. <laughs> okay, so it's all about money to her. It's all, it's all she sees, all of this, uh, and she's projecting because, stay tuned, journalists need clout in some ways, depending on what our jobs are looking for. Yeah, I was about to say, don't you get paid? Do you not have bills? I have a goal in terms of how many paying subscribers I attract with my reporter. Oh, my gosh. How dare you? How dare you make a goal to make money off of your paying subscribers? That is blasphemous, cat. I'm shocked. How much do you make? You're going to tell us like you tried to get everyone else to reveal? Uh, it's not the kind of... So anyway, this money is that the, the getting uh, paid subscribers is not the kind of clout the content creators disparaging me think it is. And if my B is influencers, then yes, I'm building my career off of them. Well, at least she admitted it. Which is how any type of beat reporting works. In terms of journalists transitioning to content creation, I think modern journalism often is content creation. Writing is content. Blogs are content. Videos and social media posts are content. So some of the tools are the same. I do think the creator-journalist crossover is growing and will continue to shape in different directions. But wait, what about all the journalistic integrity? What about influencers and content creators don't have the same ethics that all the other mainstream media people do, Kat? Which is it? Because weren't you complaining about that prior? Who are you? What are, oh, I see you're a clout chasing journalist who has gone after David Dubrick and Jeffrey Starr. And that's what you've done. You've built up this ladder, exposing others and then exposing more. That's where she comes from. And look, whatever, do your thing. Do your thing, I guess. I, I can't stop you, but you're doing exactly, you're doing exactly what you're criticizing others of. You are stoking the, fan, the flames of a culture war. And then you're bringing back Gamergate into this and Trump and all this stuff just to spark outrage from the liberal, weird Amber Heard supporters who are just ignorant to the actual evidence of the trial. You're just bamboozling them so you could get more paid clicks, I guess. This is how it all works. So they want to criti criticize us for being fully transparent open. I've invited her on the show. She denies it. I'd love to have a conversation with her. She won't. She's afraid. Doesn't want to address it. I'm a misogynist. I, I don't believe in women. I'm just a jerk who only believes the monster that is Johnny Depp. So she refuses. Uh, but the reality is like, she, I, I think it's really she doesn't want to come on because I'm no dummy. And I'm able to call her out for her tactics that she's tricking others into doing while she's labeling us content creators and YouTubers for tricking everybody into the conspiracy that we're spouting. It, it, I, the reason I'm, I'm sharing this and pointing her out and I hope we can move on and I, I don't have to keep bringing this stuff up, but I think it's imperative for us to keep being reminded of how the mainstream media is tricking us, what their tactics are, what they're doing and how insane it is. And it is encouraging though, at least to see that yes, you're all not buying it anymore. And I applaud, um, Katie Turr here and others for finally coming to that realization and stepping up. And I hope more journalists will step up and call out the, the culture wars and the nonsense for what it is. Cause I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. 
I, I'm, I'm going to extinguish all of these flaming culture wars as often as I can to cut through the nonsense and say, what's really going on here? What's the issue? Why is this a thing? And yes, we all got to get off Twitter. I got it myself included. Uh, in fact, I will be off Twitter today. I will be off YouTube today because I'm going to be busy doing some other stuff. And that's why I banged two videos for you today. You got this morning one, and I'm telling you, you're not going to miss later one this afternoon. In fact, I'll probably put it up there as a scheduled video. I'm going to put it at the end of this video. Before I do, though, can you make sure you are subscribed? If you like this honest reporting and trans parent reporting please hit the bell for alerts hit the button smash the like button and let me know your thoughts down below does this surprise you are you not surprised are you frustrated but do you support what we're doing let me know hit the super thanks just send a like all that stuff and make sure you join us for our next video with christopher melcher as we reveal an exclusive source with information about the australian perjury charge i'm gonna put it right there on the left stay tuned see you guys soon